Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where our economy is still stretched pretty thinly by our war with the Galactic Information Entente, and I definitely want to get some work done on that. That is very, very important, but of course we need pops for that to happen. In the meantime, of course, we're making 654 alloys per month now. That's very solid, actually. And we're going to continue working on getting our ships reinforced. Unfortunately, that does cost us volatile moats, which is our biggest economic weakness right now, by far, is our volatile moat situation. However, creating more volatile moats is going to put us into a deficit of minerals. So that's a thing. <laughs> we have nine available jobs here with two worker unemployments. I'm guessing these are slaves. Yeah, they're slaves. So what do we want them to do? Well, we could definitely upgrade our mineral purification hubs. That's going to help our volatile moats. But we can do it anyway and uh, hope that we get the ability to get more volatile moats created soon. Now, we are working on making habitats, I believe, correct? Yes. We're three months away on that. And how far away are we on getting all of this done? Not that far away. We're 42% here, and then we're going to be in Lyrum. Okay, that's looking good. So this is going to finish up fairly soon as well, and then we're going to grab Zoltan. We may want to get a third construction ship at this point. We do have all of this queued up. I'm going to queue up a construction ship. I'm moving it to the top. And we're going to get that ready for when we are going to start building habitats. Because habitats are going to be necessary here. I'm 100% certain of that. We absolutely need to do that. An overcast day greeted the middling crowd on Entropy, Entropy's Promises capital today. The procession carrying our proof of the destruction of the enigmatic fortress ambled past the meandering onlookers. Its broadcast... Well, his progress was broadcast throughout our empire, but engagement was low, as the chamber from the fortress did not seem to be quite as enticing as we'd hoped. After finishing the world tour, the chamber from the fortress was placed in a specialized display at the center of the capital to inspire generations to come. If they won't show up to it, why did they ask for a celebration? Indeed. But we knew that this was going to be a slightly Research worse actualized. celebration, so that's fine. We got the habitat unlocked now. Kinetic batteries... Yes, we go for kinetic batteries here. That is magnificent. We would be very delighted to get those online. We are also going to get Durasteel infrastructure, giving us some building slots in about five months. So that's all looking good. Research actualized. And there we go. That was our proton launchers finished. We could go for sapient combat AI, but I'm definitely grabbing gateway construction here. That's a lengthy complete. research, but we will work our way through that. Cool. So, we can also build ourselves our Science Nexus site if we wanted to. Now, we do have this one over here, over here upgrading. It apparently doesn't show up on here anymore because of the Hyper Relay. Awkward. But we have this one upgrading. But I do want to get another one going. So, we need 5,000 total alloys for that. I think we'll put this in Aranus. So, we'll move on out over there for now. And we are going to get habitats going, but we're waiting on these construction ships for right now. For the time being, I only want to build the one mega structure. And that's all we can build for right now, but that will do for the moment. So we're going to put it here in Aranus, defend it behind Dahlberg and Nightbirth. Upscaling That'll be fine. Complete. And we need 387 for this now? Cool. So we'll put that in as soon as we can on this month deck. Right about... Now. Okay. What are we going to put it in orbit of? Let's put it over here, where there's nothing else. It doesn't really matter, but we'll we'll do that for now. Uh, we are running out of volatile moats. And in fact, we are out of volatile moats. We're not shocked about that. I'm going to buy in 300 of them to keep us afloat for now. But we're going to need to properly do something about this. And we will get there. So that's all well and good. The Senate passed minor research sanctions. Okay, sure. That's fine. We're at 12 of 12 research star bases. Actualized. I would like to get one over Viscaran's Maw. There's those building slots. We could grab the Ancient Refinery. And we definitely should take this. 
that is essentially going to allow us to boost up our production of strategic resources. And in fact, that's just generally really, really good. So yeah, we'll definitely grab that. That's going that's to be a big boon complete. for us. So Edamar just finished up here. We need to get these upgrading to citadels, but we don't have the alloys for that right now. So for the moment, what we're going to do with these stations is we're just going to start building in here. We're going to build all of the shipyards. We're going to build the fleet academy. We're going to build the crew quarters. And what was the other thing that we built here before we built the Titan assembly hub? A transit hub? Okay. That's not the biggest of deals. It's fine. We could also build a resource silo. We could. And I think that's what we're going to do. We'll, we're going to build a resource silo. There's no upkeep for that, so that should be fine. Now we've got this one here. We're going to do the same thing. Shipyards. And we're going to build a fleet command academy, crew quarters. What is a comatomy? I, I don't know what a comatomy is, but apparently we're building comatomies now. Perfect. And we've also got the one over... This is in Utan. Uh, let's see here. We want to go to Ascension's End. Yes. So we want our shipyards here. And of course, we're going to need to wait a month tick here. We're out of alloys. But that's fine. And this will keep these busy for a while. For sure. Crew quarters, resource silo, fleet academy. Or I guess cacademy? Sure. I, I don't even think that was the word that I used previously. It, it wasn't a word, to be clear. <laughs> that was not a word. So how are we doing on those volatile modes? Minus complete. 15 right now? Yeah, that definitely does need work. Vinjim has a job available, and we're going to put in a chemical plant there. Absolutely. So that'll help offset that. Somewhat. Maybe. A little bit. So that's all well and good. We're up in Lyrum right now. Once we're done with that, I want to head back to Nightbirth. So we'll get that underway, because of course we're going to have to start making some habitats. We know this for an absolute fact. That is 100% something that we need. Cool. So next up, we could spend 10,500 alloys upgrading all of these up to citadels. That is an option. We could also spend those alloys here. That's an additional option. Potential space what is the current price of alloys? We know it was super cheap before. Actually, it is still pretty cheap. Let's sell off what we can. That's about what we've got. Our economy is still stretched quite thin. Although we can sell exotic gases, I suppose. And we're going to buy in what we can from alloys here. There we can. Or there we go, rather. And we're going to get this citadel queued up. Beautiful. Very soon we're going to be able to get this citadel queued up. And once we do, that will be fantastic. So we're currently lacking two month ticks on that. Okay, sure. So after this next month tick, we'll be good to go. So that looks fine. And then we're going to be missing another 3,500. Now these should all be finishing at about the same time because these are going to take a long time to build these, these uh, shipyard sections. So that's okay. No major deal there. We'll get this one upgrading to a citadel. And then this last one, we'll see if we have enough to upgrade it before it's done constructing all this other stuff. I think we will. I really do think that we will. So that should be okay. Price of alloys has dropped back down. They are continuing to sell a large amount of alloys. So we are going to continue to buy them. Absolutely. We're very happy to buy alloys right now. We're going to need them for our science nexus, of course, but for many, many other things. This agro world requires a job, and at this moment, I'm going to buy in a few minerals, and we're going to put in a chemical plant. We just, we need chemical plants. Those volatile moats are still a problem for us. Absolutely. We're going to start making refinery stations very, very soon, though. We're done in Lyrum, and we're heading back now. So we want to get a habitat built over Nightbirth. Oh, they're on the verge of space travel. Okay, sure. I want to head in here. I want to get a habitat constructing over Nightbirth 5. So we're going to head over that way. And we should get there reasonably quickly. It'll take us a little bit to get through MOA, but the rest of this will go pretty, pretty quick. Now, gateway travel is going to be enabled for us 
in about 74 months. That's a while, a while yet. We do need to resettle someone here, or we could upgrade this synergy forum. Does that actually get us a job? Hang on. Yes, apparently. So that seems good. We'll do that. Not that I'm sure that that'll actually fill that job. We do have available jobs here, just probably not for slaves. Entertainer and enforcer jobs. Yeah, so not for slaves. We'll probably still have to move this guy, so I think we'll resettle right now. I'd like to resettle over onto a mining world, like so. So this mining world here has an open job. And I guess we'll buy in more minerals. This is actually maxed out for mining right now, unfortunately. We'll put in a chemical plant. We've got this forge world here. I would not mind getting some mining work done here. So a mineral purification. Research actualized. Cool. Ancient refineries are now good to go. We could grab the mega shipyard, and that is not a terrible idea. The ancient cavitation collapser, huh? Now that's interesting. We are going the Archaeotech route. Do we get the... Uh, where is it these days? Society Management Traditions. We have Master Builders, we have Archaeo Engineers. Okay, yeah. So we are going the Archaeotech route. The question is... Let's see, that's minus to shields, plus to armor. This is lasers, right? Yeah, I think so. So a small one of these is 4.5 damage per day. So if we go into our ship designer and we take a look at, say, not the Stormfire auto cannons, but rather the medium advanced, or rather the medium gamma lasers. Gamma lasers are just better right now, right? That said, we do have the 33% bonus. Let's grab it for now. It's going to be very interesting to see how that feels. With that 33% bonus, that brings it up on par, I would think. And it does have boosted armor Station damage in addition, assault. in addition, or rather penetration. Hang on. 50% armor penetration and 50% armor damage. Ah. This has boosted hull damage as opposed to the penetration. Got it. So we have some pirates up over here, and we'll deal with those no problem. We'll send the Able Swarm over there. Not a big deal. Beautiful. And we have enough now to get our last shipyard upgrading. And we have plenty of time for that, so that's excellent. Fantastic there. What do we have for alloy cost at this point? Okay, we could definitely let that drop a little bit more, I feel like. It's been dropping quite heavily, so that's looking good. So now that our shipyards are all being built, we can definitely spend these alloys much more efficiently. And we should probably think about Research stationing at least a fleet at one of these locations. And we just finished the kinetic battery. I like that. Uh, Starbase upgrade speed and upgrade cost. That would have been nice to have a little bit ago. Neutronium armor! Finally! Okay, we'll grab that. That is absolutely something that we want. No doubt about that one. The cash compose isn't doing anything, and I want it to head back towards Night Birth. Apparently it can't? Oh, right, because of the pirate fleet. That's fine. We'll have that taken care of pretty soon. So, no big deal there. Our economy is definitely good getting better, but the volatile moats are an issue. And they'll continue to be an issue for a little Mining bit. Platform lost. The real question here is, when are we going to start getting our Ruin Science Nexus online? And when are we going to start getting our habitat online? That's actually going to be quite soon. Okay, so we're going to take care of these guys. No problem engaged. whatsoever here. This is not our strongest fleet by any means, but it's more than up to the task. Beautiful. Eliminate this station. Competitive station engaged. There we go. No problem here. Cool. 
Now we can head back to Nightbirth, and I'm going to grab our mining stations here on the way through. We should, of course, build our starbase in Zoltan. That is our goal here. So we'll do that. We do have 3.3 thousand alloys at this point. What are we planning to spend it on? Well, the science nexus. But mostly right now, I think we spend it on fleet. We need to try to dissuade these guys from attacking us again. I'm not sure when that truce is up. It may already be. Two months. Okay. We need to try to dissuade them from attacking us again. And we definitely are a lot stronger than we were previously. There's no doubt about that. But we have a big alloy deficit here. We're going to continue buying in alloys when possible. And keep hitting that reinforce fleet button. So now we can see all of these shipyards are starting to work. We're actually working on some titans as well. So that'll be great. Once that all gets done, things will be good. Now we're planning, and yeah, they closed their borders to us. That means that the truce is up. We're planning on re-attacking them. Absolutely. We're going to go after them. But we need to continue to develop a little bit first. We've got our Science Nexus site here at 58%, and this Science Nexus site down here is at 370. Now, this is going to have to be upgraded as well. That's going to be a Research big, actualized. big alloy outlay, right? There's the Ancient Cavitation Collapser done. We could grab the Ancient Target scam Scrambler. What does that actually do? I don't know, but there's ancient pulse armor in here. Which, that is partially armor, partially shield. Right. There's also the ancient suspension shield, which gives us shield hit points and shield hardening and daily shield regen. There's actually a lot of stuff here that's very interesting. For now, I think we're going to grab the ancient pulse armor. And we'll just work our way through all of that. Beautiful. So our fleets are definitely being worked on slowly. And we'll continue to reinforce these fleets. We are going to need more Titans than we're creating right now. We have one Titan at this moment. And that's this one, I believe. The one that's 11% done. So that's going to require additional work. Absolutely. No doubt about that. The question is, are these guys going to declare on us again? And they don't seem like they're immediately interested. I say, is they're immediately interested. Okay, so, with that being in mind, due to lack of intel, we don't know when that's going to be. Did we not leave this guy here? Oh, their encryption is strong relative to our code breaking. Okay, so they're planning on attacking us again. Now, this time, it's going to go better. We are not going to put any additional alloys at this moment into our mega structures from here on out. We're going to buy in some alloys. We're going to sell off some food. We're going to sell off some consumer goods. We're going to sell rare crystals. We're going to sell dark matter. And we're going to buy in additional alloys. All of these alloys go into our fleets. Then we're going to grab our second contract enforcement, enforcement fleet, which is one of our stronger fleets. We're going to send that to Edamar. We're going to also grab the lesser messenger. We're going to send that to Edamar as well. Now we're going to grab, for the time being, Vigilant Swarm. We're going to send that to Pulbankir. We're going to send Planned Swarm. And we can get around much more quickly now. We're going to send Planned Swarm to Halvum. And then we're going to send the first contract enforcement fleet. These guys here. Over to Howling Vortex. That leaves the Able Swarm. And where do we want to send them? Well, they're also our weakest fleet, and for now, I think we're just going to wait. So we do have Titans under construction. We have Corvettes. We have Frigates. That's all well and good. So we're going to get into position here. We're heading on out. And we're definitely a lot stronger than we were last time they attacked us. The question is, are they stronger? Possibly. Uh, these guys aren't part of the Federation. It's these guys here. So we need to look at the state here. Basically, all of them are set to equivalent. These guys are still pathetic. But basically, all of them are still equivalent. So 
that's interesting. We're going to definitely put a lot of resources into our ships at this point. What are we running for edicts? We can afford to run a forge subsidy here. And we're going to do so. Beautiful. So that's all well and good. This forge world requires a job. And the obvious choice here, if we could, would be to put in a Ministry of Production. We can't, and we're kind of low on minerals. So for now, I'm going to put in a mineral purification plant. This forge world here is basically in the same boat. We'll put in a mineral purification plant there as well. This is a mining world here, allegedly. We'll go to a business management nexus for now. And then we've got this agro world here, which is actually going to get an industrial district, but we are lacking the minerals for that. We'll buy in a few. Cool. Hello, pause menu. Okay, we're going to continue to reinforce our ships here. We currently need slightly under 30,000 alloys to get those fully maxed out. So that's looking okay. The cash compose is not doing anything. That's supposed to be building a starbase in Zoltan. I've told it to do that like four times now. <laughs> I think we spent the alloys for it is what happened. So we're making our way around here and we're going to attack up here with our primary forces. The rest of our forces... Oh, these guys are uh, trying an interplanetary flight. How nostalgic. We're going to look to defend these areas. Now, we can see that these are much stronger defensive stations, right? They're going to have a much harder time taking them out. We should definitely consider building things like the command center here. We're actively planning on defending these. So command center here. We're going to build a command center here. And these will take a while. They may or may not be done before these guys declare their war. We will see. We're going to build a command center down here as well. And up here, we don't actually have a defensive station. We just have Edamar. So for the time being, that will do. So we're getting in position here, and we're definitely going to be able to make our way around faster. Not fast, but faster. We'll continue to reinforce our ships here. We've got this mining world that needs a job. We definitely put in a mineral purification plant here. That is absolutely something that we do. If only this federation would leave us alone for five seconds. <laughs> they don't seem to be interested. We are, of course, going to continue to reinforce our fleets. And we're going to buy in whatever we can in terms of alloys. We get a little bit. But we could definitely use more. We need a lot of alloys. I was hoping that they would not immediately look to fight us again. This science nexus will be done. I'm not sure what level it'll be. I suspect level zero. Hmm. These guys have a problem. We could leave a message with a solution near their, their space center. Get them off the ship, or we could let them figure it out on their own, which is what we'll do. We've got other problems right now. A miraculous repair. Okay, cool. Good for them. So we gained a bunch of unity out of that. Speaking of unity. Okay, we're still a ways away from our next thing that we get here. But we did finish out supremacy, though. All things considered, we are in a better position, I think, than we were before the previous one. Before the previous war. The real question comes down to when do they declare it, right? That's the ultimate question at this moment. We're actually kind of close, kind of, to saturating our shipyards. <laughs> we're not exactly close, but we're kind of close. Price of alloys is a little on the high end. That's noted. Or Dedius. So they're claiming down over here. Noted. We've got a couple of relatively strong fleets up here. Okay. So that's reasonably fine. We are working as quickly as we can on getting our fleets reinforced. We actually can't reinforce at 1.3k. So that tells me that all of our corvettes and frigates are actually queued up. Right? Or we have a bug. 
Or we ran out of volatile moats again. That would do it. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. I would really like to have that problem fixed before we go into this war. Uh, there's not really anything we can do about it at this exact moment, though. We will be working on that when this habitat is done, but that's a ways away. So that, of course, means that we can now reinforce this. Those volatile moats are going to be a problem going forward. That said, this Forge World has an open job, and I would love to put in, and yes, I see we're negative on minerals now. I do expect that to switch around eventually, but I'm going to put in... Hang on. Do we put an ancient refinery in here on, like, all of our worlds? That's just flat better than a chemical plant, right? Yes. Yes, it is. And we can put that in on multiple worlds, correct? That's, that's, that's not empire unique. That's planet unique. Yeah. So we definitely put that in. We're going to need more minerals. But we are working on mineral purification plants down here on a streaky tribe. Complete. So that will help our planet product, or rather our output here. We're going to get more mining districts as well. So we'll get those queued up. We're positive in our minerals now. That's a good sign as well. We'll hit the reinforce fleet button, and it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to see when these guys decide to declare on us. I suspect they're not going to be happy with their results. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.